you, you're like a god to me. Like a god. Son. I am god. Greetings. Welcome to episode 31. This is Container 9, Part 4. Today should be the 18th of February, and I hope everyone is doing well. Still going through this container, which is all Japanese games. I've done parts 1, 2, and 3, and I've done 30 games per episode. So that's 90 that I've already done, and I'm still going. So... Let's take a look at what's left. Super something, part three. When I search for other games, trying to match the box covers with the titles, I always run across that one. And I should save that for future reference, because I know I have it. But I didn't, so now I'll have to start to search fresh. Um, this is what, Ray Earth 2, Making of Magic Knight. We have Super Columns. Let's see what else we got. Lingering in this container. So much bubble wrap. It's ridiculous. G Lock Air Battle. Got a price sticker on there from Tokyo Toys. I'd like to go to Japan and game hunt, but I'm sure that's probably already been done by a lot of other people, so there probably wouldn't be anything worth finding there. We have Shining Force, an RPG. Moving forward. I should invest in these bubble wrap envelopes. These are, these are pretty great for storing games. I'd have to look into that. Shining Force, I'm going to say two, but I know there's more to it than that. one of the shining force is boy packing tape sure works super monaco gp this one i recognize this, I believe, is Shinobi, but I will look it up to make sure. This is from 1991. Ooh, I want to say this is Puyo Puyo, part two. I may be incorrect, though. But we will figure it out. And we will document the proper name. 
so that you at home watching this video can just sit back and watch and see the game pop up. See me hold up the box. The box magically appears over here. And then the title runs across here. And then you don't have to do any work. So if you have any Japanese games, you might be able to match some of your games with these videos and know the titles. Which would be kind of cool if it was helpful. Kinetic Connection. This is another one that I kept coming across the image of, and the t and I have to pull up the title. I believe the title starts with an S, but I will find out. And uh, we will put that all together. It's like piecing together a big puzzle. Matching the, the graphic of the box with the title, and then putting it all together in the video. Magical Puzzle Popples. This is in super great condition. I don't know why I thought my copy was beat up. I probably have a beat up copy somewhere, which is what I'm recalling. But this is in mint condition, which is nice. Nice to know I have. Hooray, a bootleg. Alien Storm plus Sonic the Hedgehog. Super 2 in 1. A boxed bootleg. Gotta love it. Must show love to bootlegs. Oh, another one. Altered Beast and Double Dragon. Two and one. Of course, Altered Beast and Double Dragon. Double Dragon was made for Game Gear, but Altered Beast was not. So it's a Master System port, is my guess. Kuni Chan. Kuni Chan. There's part one and two. That's part one, I'm pretty sure. But like I always do, I'll find the title and let you know for sure. Oh, this is weird sounding bubble wrap. It's so thin. Good Lord. Ooh, it's not only bubble wrap. There's the bubble wrap. But it's also in this clear bag. And what is it? It's FIFA International Soccer. Why I wrapped it up like that, I don't know. Maybe it came like that. And I said, I'll just leave it. Another one that I did that with. Oh, and here is the variation of that baseball game. Um, that... The Real Braveheart and I were discussing through Instagram where it has the logo right at the end of the bat. I'll put the title. It's Gear Stadium is this game without that, without this. But with that added in, it's Gear Stadium something. And we were trying to crack the code about what it meant. So I appreciated his input since he is a serious collector as I. We have another kinetic connection, except this one is in super, super good condition, which is always exciting to find games that in your collection, you're like, wow, that's in amazing shape. Boy, I must have been on a roll. Oh, here, okay, then here is Gear Stadium. 
without that symbol on the box. So this one, let me put it over here. This one has it on the box and then this one does not. That's the difference. So this, is, this one should be just plain gear stadium. That's weird that I had them like right next to each other practically in a container. We have Gunstar Heroes from 1995. So that's a pretty late release for the Game Gear. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right. Next we have SD Winner's History. Is this Gundam? Don't know for sure. We will learn. All right, let me take this one, because this one's right on top of the last layer. We have the Fantasy Zone gear with the Maisaku, my, I think that's how you say it, label, which stands for like Masterpiece, I think is what it stands for, and it's printed directly on the box, it's not a sticker. In previous videos, I said this can either be printed on the box or they put a sticker over it. And that one's printed directly on the box. Just a variation. Gameplay is the same. We have Shining Force again. Another Maisuko, Maisaka, something right there. Printed directly on the box. Not a sticker. Inside of a bubble envelope, we have a battered copy of Lemmings. I'm trying to see if there's a date on this. I don't see one. 1992 for Lemmings. Oh, no idea. I'd be lying if I said I knew. Which is where the joy of editing comes in, because when I finally finish my videos and finalize them, I go back and I watch them before I post them. And it's pretty nice to be watching through a video and I hold up the, I hold up the game and then magically a picture appears over here and then the title just it's just cool i hope you guys appreciate that we have axe battler a legend of golden axe And 25. Got a few more to go. I used scotch tape on that one, which came off really easy. This is the sumo wrestling game. I know I've shown this one before. All right, we are on. We are now entering the final layer of. Japanese games and just from glancing it looks like there's gonna probably be a part five to this because I think there's over I think there's enough to do a part five of container nine so that's a lot of games that's a lot of Japanese games jammed into container nine check this one out that's about it that's the best intro I can give you check this one out 
who knows what the title is? The internet does, and we will rely on that to help us through. All right, two more. And then I will set you guys free. Thank you for watching my videos. It's very cool of you. Sylvan Tail. It's not liking Sylvan Tail. From 1995. And we will end it with Squeak from Infogame. No, Infogrames. Hmm. For some reason, I think they did the Smurfs games. The symbol looks familiar. So let's make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 games. Uh, glancing in. Yeah, we'll have enough. Definitely have enough for part five. The next video, part five, I will just finish up what's in here. If, if it's 30, great. If it's a little bit more than 30, then great. But then I'll finish up with part five. So thank you for joining me so far on my tour of Japan through this container nine that's all Japanese games at some point I corralled all these Japanese games into one container I don't remember doing that but at some point I did and it's been interesting so far so I hope you're doing well thank you for tuning in and I should be back in one week with part five and hopefully the end of container number nine so be well and take care Thank <laughs> you.